Ok Steve, did you get everyone in ZR land to safety? Are they all in the safety of their own bunkers? Everyone is safe, Dad. I made absolute sure that no harm shall be inflicted. Excellent. Now we just need to figure out a way to stop Cleric before he regains the ability to melt anyone with his incredibly hot, sharp, dirty fangs. I suppose we can make a potion that can make me huge. That way, I can try to fight Cleric with my abnormal powers. Please tell me you're just joking around, Steve. Are you actually going to force us to make you a potion that simply makes you temporarily massive like the world's tallest building? That's correct, Dad. I really want a chance in the spotlight in regards to engaging in combat with the purple robed menace. Really? Well, if that's what you really want, I guess there's no stopping you. Come on, folks. Let's make Steve a potion of size enlargement. Oh boy, it sure is a nice day to go do some shopping at Radar Overseer Grocery. Alright, let's see. What would we use to make a potion that temporarily makes stick figures massive in size? Do you know what we should get? I personally think you should buy some isopropyl alcohol as a basis for the potion. Seriously? Isopropyl alcohol is not for human consumption, Sabrina. We need water, cranberry juice, baking soda and lemon juice. Where can we find them in this store? From experience, the water, cranberry juice, and lemon juice is available in the drinks aisle. The baking soda can be found in the baking aisle. Well, I guess we're off to find the ingredients, then. Don't we have some at home? We need to stock up on our groceries, sir. We could always use tap water from the kitchen sink. Maybe. We'll see about that. I do happen to have lemon juice at home. I'm willing to let you have a bottle, if you want. Yes, Mary. We need some. Please, 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 please. All right. Meet me near the church and you'll get the lemon juice for free. Gucci, Mary. You can expect me there in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Cowbunga. Okay, Scotty. I think it's time once again for me to lecture you. You really shouldn't do that, Sam. We really like these bloopers. Isn't that right, guys? Hell yeah, Victor. We love these bloopers. That's what he said. Don't be a party pooper, Sam. You're grumpier than Oscar the Grouch. I don't watch Satanic Street, buddy. Satanic Street. <laughs> <laughs> Not again, Sam. I know exactly what you're going to say. Scotty, how dare you make the logo wrong? It is supposed to say 20th Century Studios. You were fired. Unto that, I say, learn to respect other people's wishes, Microsoft Kalu. <laughs> Alright, family. Let's carefully add all the ingredients in, one by one. Are you sure this is going to work? I'm 200% sure that this shall work, Sabrina. It's time to mix the ingredients in order to finish brewing a basic potion. So, what are we going to add so that it will allow the user to physically enlarge themselves? He's probably going to add isopropyl alcohol, Kayleen. No way, Hosey. What is with you and isopropyl alcohol today, honey? I already told you that isopropyl alcohol is not for human consumption. In order to make the potion of size enlargement, we are going to add a teaspoon of a special liquid that comes from something called romaine. Hey, can you guess whose birthday is today? It's our birthday today. Nobody on the surface of the Earth cares about birthdays of the underworld, you meatballs.
Excuse me, but what the hell was that? We nearly got the logo right and it just had to explode. What gives? I heard someone bullied my parents. Whoever did it, shame on you. The only individuals we should be shaming is our foes who keep tormenting us. Leave us alone, peasants. Whoa, what happened here? Some antagonists tried to scare us but we didn't fall for it. Gucci. Anyway, we've finished a potion that will make Steve massive. Hey Steve, drink the potion. A potion? For me? Well, if you insist. Hey Dad, this potion tastes kinda bizarre. What exactly did you put in this thing? That is a question I can easily answer. In this potion contains tons of water, a bit of cranberry juice a pinch of baking powder, and a cup of lemon juice. As a bonus, I put a gallon of liquid salad. Oh no, I ate salad in liquid form. I hate salad. You, 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 you. Well dad. It doesn't seem like anything has happened. I can clearly see that the potion didn't work. Give it a few seconds to take effect, Steve. You aren't magically going to become bigger than Godzilla immediately. If you insist, Dad. Wait! What's going on? I'm growing. Help! Whoa! The potion worked. Steve, you're massive. Holy shit. You're right. I'm now as big as the studio. This is so crazy. Indeed it is crazy, Steve. Now that you've literally grown so huge, I think it's time for you to crush Cleric with your feet. He'll be flattened before he has the chance to steal a jetpack and come back to the sun for seconds. Indeed, Dad. Let's save everyone that relies on solar power from absolute darkness. Hey, Roberto. Zack Mans son is now huge. I think he's going to destroy the city. That skill crap, Cleric. You took a bite out of the sun, and now everyone has been sheltered. Zack wanted to make his son big so that he can kick your butt. I told you that eating the sun was a horrible idea to begin with. Do you realize what's going on, Roberto? As actually helping me rule the world. As I made Steve huge and all that the beast has to do is knock a whole bunch of buildings down to reach me. The supreme leader of a new city shall develop over this one. I'll call the city's Tokyo Tropolis. I hate to say it, Cleric. You're a fucking idiot. Clearly, Steve would never do such a thing to ZR Lion. I suggest you spit out what you ate from the sun right now so that a glowing star can once again be whole. Do it now or else I'm doing it for you. Fine, Roberto. As you wish. I'll allow the sun to be whole. What's this? Cleric is actually spitting out the large bite he took out of the sun? Well I never thought I'd see him undo his mistake. You're right, Cleric has regretted his decision. I think it's time that I give him the ultimate punishment. Okay, Roberto. The sun has now become all again. If you need me to do anything else, I'll just retreat back to my super secret base under the lighthouse end. Oh, oh, Cleric Studio, how dare you eat the sun and terrorize everybody who relies on solar power to survive. That's it, you are grounded until the end of time. Go to your hole in the ground immediately and never come out you reptilian doofus. We are sick of your nonsensical crap. After Cleric was grounded by Steve for harming the individuals who relied on solar power to survive, he reluctantly did, as he was told. After a few moments, Steve shrank back to his normal size. The gang returned to do some more bloopers. All of a sudden, this happened immediately upon their return to the studio. Say this, it seems that we got the logo right. Would we do? We absolutely got the logo right, Dad. Don't be so grouchy. Man, you should be happy that we got the logo right. Well yeah, I know I should be happy, but I have expected you to crush Cleric, not yell at him. 
However, the deed is done. Cleric has been defeated and we got the logo right. What's next? It's time for our annual Halloween party. Let's get to celebrating. And so, our heroes have defeated the Purple Menace once again and are now able to commence with their annual Halloween party. However, the Doofus has yet another scheme to cook up. What will he do this time? Only the future will tell.